life, to me anyway, has been about balance, at least my adult life. You know, trying to balance it out, right? And some days your work commitments outweigh your personal life and, you know, require a little bit more of you. And other days your personal life outweighs your work commitments and it requires a little bit more of you. You know, and the saying that I like to use is like, it always comes out in the wash, right? Well, today is one of those days where I just, I needed a personal day for mental health and clarity and, one of the things I needed to do that's been like in the back of my head is set some solid goals for this new YouTube channel of mine. And I needed a place to think. So for whatever reason, man, like I've shot a video over here before. And for whatever reason, like this is one of those places I like to come and think. So yeah, one of the best things you can do when you need to clear your mind and, and develop a plan of action is just go for a walk, get out of your comfort zone. Um, go forth, right? Like go forth and conquer. So sometimes you just got to get away. So that's why I came out here today. So I have three ongoing goals that are personal and these aren't necessarily set in any kind of metrics that I can measure. They're all going to be like personal. So one is going to be like the top priority for this whole channel and this whole blog thing that I've been doing is improving my overall video production skills and I've said that before but the whole purpose of this is so you're coming up with the video ideas you're going to shooting the video ideas you're writing them you're editing them you're uploading them going through the whole process right and that's still going to be like my primary focus and goal for the channel but the next two kind of go hand in hand with that and I would say the other one that's the top priority is to have fun, right? If this isn't fun, why are you doing it? You know, it shouldn't be work here and then work at work and they're kind of blending together. You know, this should be fun. And as long as I'm having fun, I'm gonna keep doing it. The next part of that is it is fun for me to go out to these new places and explore them and see different sites, especially like in this area that I live in, you know, because I've lived here for so long and like there's like so much to learn about this area. And I met people that are the same age as me that grew up here that didn't know half the stuff here. The place is huge, right? So that's like my three ongoing goals is have fun, explore, and then to improve my production skills. And I have a couple of short-term goals that I want to accomplish. And one of those is gonna be just uploading on a you know, consistent and regular basis because I have a gaming channel and I don't wanna to get too much into that, but I, I did not upload on a regular basis on that channel. And on this one, I really want to upload and, and be more consistent with it. Going with that is I wanna keep the daily vlogs going for a while. Even if like after I'm done with Vlogtober, I'm not doing like a full on vlog every day, I'm doing something else. I still want to keep doing these, right? At least for a while, I'm gonna do them daily. And then after that, I'll have to kind of look and see what the schedule's looking like because it does take a toll out of your day. But I wanna definitely try to upload regularly and consistently. So then I have some long-term goals. And one of those long-term goals, which was a factor in starting the new channel, was I eventually want to start producing longer documentary slash vloggy vloggumentary right and part of that whole process led me to saying hey well you know i should i really need to pick up my skills i really need to figure out how to film myself how to vlog how to tell a story better you know because it's one thing to just point a camera and, and shoot and frame it up and you know like that kind of stuff like those are more technical skills that you can develop and fine tune but it's another thing to try to tell a story visually it's a different monster altogether so yeah long-term goal is i want to produce some vlogumentaries right some vlogumentaries and some documentaries another long-term goal i think that is achievable is i want to get monetized and become like a youtube partner on here and they've changed the rules since i started like my gaming channel right or 
my channel I use through school and things like that. So the new rules are you have to have a thousand subscribers and you have to have 4,000 watch hours in the past 12 months to become a partner and monetized. And there's other metrics and stuff in place there. Then you have to like apply to it. And it's, it's a little bit more controlled. If we can achieve that goal, then hopefully that revenue source will help me to purchase better gear and fund some of the documentaries and longer stuff that I want to do in the future. That's the idea anyway. So, you know, I'm not expecting anything overnight. And I'm not even if like I was to suddenly get a million subscribers tomorrow and 10 million hours of whatever, then, you know, I wouldn't be ready to go and, and do a documentary or a vlogumentary right away. Right. So those are my goals, man. I think they're achievable. You know, I got a, some ongoing personal goals that as long as I'm having fun with this and I'm getting to explore new places or at least explore it in a new way, new season, new time, um, I'm able to in, steadily improve. You know, if I can see that the channel is growing and that I'm able to at least go and pursue some of those documentaries and vlogumentaries and things like that, then, you know, I would, I would like to stick around and, and keep doing these types of videos. It's not gonna be for everybody, right? And I'm not making them for everybody. But I'm also under the mindset that, you know, yeah, I'm making them for me, but I also want to leave something that like a future generation YouTube withstanding, right? can look back on and say, hey, look, you know, there's, you know, my dad when he was in 2020 or my granddad or whatever, you know, or my brother, nephew, cousin, whatever. So anyway, yeah, man, it's a daunting task though. Like the long-term goals are daunting because like that's a big number to try to hit. You know, I've had that um, gamer channel for a long time and I was, you know, collecting revenue on it back in the day but I'm still only at like 400 or something subscribers on there. I've got the, I think I've got the watch hours on there actually, but I don't have the, the subscribers. So man, it's a daunting task, but I do think it's achievable. I think there's something to that law of attraction and just knowing where you want to go will sometimes provide you with a way to get there. And I think just setting those goals down, saying, hey, look, this is what I'm wanting to go after. You know, sometimes that can at least, even if you don't hit them, like you, you can aim, right? You can aim and shoot. So it's, it's pushing me out of my comfort zone too. And I, that's a good thing. As a filmmaker, that's a really good thing because it's, it's challenging you to grow, right? And not everything's a success, not everything's a hit, you know, and I, I understand that, but the idea is to go after it, pursue it, try it. You know, you may try and fail, you know, but like, I like, uh, Conor McGregor's coach had a book called Win or Learn, and me and Brandon were actually talking about it this weekend, and I was like, man, I love that philosophy, right? So you either win or you learn, right? And it just gets you out of that loser mentality. And I think it's absolutely true, because I mean, that's most things, right? You're either gonna go out, succeed and conquer, or you're gonna learn from your mistakes. And man, I've learned so much more from the mistakes and failures I've made in life than I have from my successes, that's for sure. So anyway, that's it for today. I set my goals. I'm going to claim them and we'll go from there. Hopefully you guys come along for the trip. Take care. Peace.